guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm literally in the middle of nowhere, Florida, and it's for a reason that many of you have been waiting for, and I definitely got to, first of all, say thank you to a longtime friend of Lori and I's. His name is David. He is a true car enthusiast and definitely a Rady's Rides fan. Wanted us to feature his baby on Rady's Rides. This is it. This is the one you've been waiting for. It's a 2022 Tesla Model S Plaid. But before we get into the most powerful sedan available, let's talk about what's going on here. Tesla. They've been around since 2003, believe it or not. A lot of other people, they think that Elon Musk is the one that actually started Tesla. He is not. It was actually two engineers that got together, started the company, and then in 2004, Elon came along with a $6.5 million investment and then eventually would take the reins as the CEO of Tesla. Now, it all started with a small two-seat sports car known as the Tesla Roadster, and now their lineup has grown, not only in the amount of vehicles that are in their lineup, but of course the size of the vehicle. Went from a two-door, two-seat sports car to obviously the Model S, the Model X, that midsize SUV, and now of course we got the Model 3 and the Model Y. This Plaid takes the Model S performance to a new level. And what's fascinating is that if you ever wondered, like, why does Tesla use Ludacris as their top power mode? And now they have this trim, their ultimate performance trim known as the Model S Plaid. It's all because of the movie Spaceballs. If you have not seen Spaceballs, it's a spoof on Star Wars. And when they go into that warp speed, it's known as Ludacris mode. And when you are at the top, top level of speed in Ludacris, you're plaid. You turn plaid. That's where the name came up. So what I want to find out is we've had a lot of performance sedans here on Radies Rides. Recently, the BMW M5 CS with all of its carbon fiber and twin turbo V8 power. Of course, the AMGs. But what I want to find out is, is this truly the king of all performance sedans with this Model S Plaid, let's go ahead, let's dive into David's baby and find out. Right off the bat, you'll notice some changes to the design. In 2021, they did a redesign of parts of the exterior and wait until we get to the interior. Now at the front of the business, it has that familiar Tesla face, but you definitely notice that there's some updates here. You're gonna get your full LED headlights, LED daytime running lamp and turn singles, all nicely shaped in this very sharp headlight housing. Working your way down, we have a little bit more exterior lighting and then check out the massive corner air curtain. This is part of that revision in 2021, continues into the 2022 model year. And of course, being a Tesla product, you're not gonna have any type of grill at the front. Now, when we come across the front end, you get that Tesla badge. It's interesting how quickly They've come along to be that premium level of EV technology in the auto industry. You'll notice that you do have functionality up top and also down below with a massive integrated lower splitter lip. This is gonna stop air from going underneath the car and give us some meaty downforce because this car could perform not only in a straight line, but also on the twisty bits. Now, if you're wondering why is there functional venting, it does have a liquid cooled lithium ion battery and that's gonna help bring some extra air to cool things down. Now, when you get up onto that low slung hood, of course, you got the sleek body lines. Really amazing just how low the hood is to develop a low coefficient of drag to give us that supreme zero to 60 and mind blowing, almost mind melting, not a mind blowing, but mind melting quarter mile time. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? Now, I love the stealthy look of David's Tesla Plaid. The black with the dark wheels just gives it a stealth look that kind of flies under the radar. Up front, you got these 21 inch wheels, Y spoke design, nice gunmetal metallic gray. We got calipers as big as the state of Texas with the Tesla name there, gloss black with a little bit of silver lettering. And then of course you're gonna get your regen braking. We have the ability that when this thing goes into drag strip mode, it lowers down just a little to give it that perfect launch, lowering the center of gravity. 
And then of course you're gonna get massive rotors all four corners so that you can shed speed faster than Elon Musk sheds hair as he's losing his hair going through competing with all the big other auto manufacturers that are now developing electric vehicles. But definitely love the color with the black. It's 265 on the width, 35 series sidewall, and these are Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. You got a total of three, three electric motors on this Model S Plaid. Wait until you hear about horsepower. We're gonna get to that in a second. Now coming down the side, you do have this extension with your LED uh, camera set up here to give you that 360 degree camera. You got cameras all over this vehicle. Right now I have it in full locked mode. So what does that mean? The mirrors electrically tilt in, door handles are nice and flush. When you have the key fob on you and you approach your Model S Plaid, door handles pop out and those mirrors are gonna swing out. Love the clean style. Everything is just aerodynamically clean. And I've been looking over this car with a fine tooth comb Body fitment is actually pretty good. And what's amazing is, is that David actually found this brand new on the lot at his local Tesla's, Tesla dealership, and he was able to pick it up and not have to even wait for it. You got that low, sexy roof line of the Model S, and then as we work towards our rear, guess what? Things kind of flare out. Not only does the back of the car flare out, but our rear tires actually get wider. 295 on the width, 30 series sidewall, you're still gonna get nice large calipers, great style wheel. Of course, those are forged aluminum wheels to cut down the weight. I also like the way they cover all the lug nuts and stuff just to give it a super clean, minimalistic. That's been the, the theme of Tesla is minimalistic, not only on the interior, but also on the exterior. I'm gonna have Lori kind of swing around and just show that sexy flared fender. That's probably one of my favorite parts of the Model S especially the plaid, is the way it flares out. Now, when you get to the back, this is basically a sport back. What does that mean? There's no trunk, like a conventional trunk. This whole rear glass area lifts up like a hatchback, hence the name sport back. We got a beautiful carbon fiber hatch spoiler, extends off the back. That's gonna give us some functional downforce. Look at the way they redesigned the taillights. Remember, this is all new for 2021, going into the 2022 model year. Love the way they did all the LED. My one zonk on the exterior has definitely got to be the badge. That's all you get to designate this as a plaid. It would have been nice to maybe have a little bit better badging or some more carbon fiber to separate the plaid from the rest of the Model S lineup. But you got your Tesla badge, the name nicely blacked out within the trim, and then coming all the way down, once you look at that Tesla trim, the way they put that in there, it kind of just blends in super clean. You'll notice the massive rear diffuser area to help channel the air underneath this vehicle to help give us more downforce. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood and talk numbers on this Tesla. Hey guys, we got the hood popped on our Model S Plaid. I turned the hazards on so Lori could showcase those turn signals for you, LED. What do we got? We got a front mounted trunk area. Obviously, there's no engine in this vehicle, but what do we have? You got enough space there for a baker's dozen of Twinkie boxes, full-size Twinkies, boxes full to the brim, at least 13 of them in there. What do we got power-wise? Three electric motors. It's the only Tesla with three electric motors, 1,020 horsepower, 1,050 pound-feet of torque. If you compare this to another fast EV, the Porsche Taycan Turbo S, that has 750 horsepower, so it's got less power, but it does have a two-speed transmission, which this has a single-speed direct drive system. All-wheel drive, of course, from those three electric motors, lithium-ion liquid-cooled battery pack, which is a 99.3 kilowatt per hour battery pack, zero to 60 in a mind-melting, frontal lobe melting, two seconds, quarter mile goes by, a nine. 0.4 seconds at 151 miles per hour. Tesla proclaims, Elon proclaims that this has a 390 mile range. Top speed is governed to 162 miles per hour. MPGEs 102 in the city, 99 on the highway, and your curb weight is around 4,828 pounds. Now, if you're wondering what's in this little container box, that actually has the 
Elon Musk Bible of electricity. Inside that bag, plus the charging capability to plug it in at your house or your place of business. Another thing is think about it. If you owe Dom Toretto a 10 second car, this one will definitely satisfy his need for a 10 second car with a quarter mile of less than 9.5 seconds. But why don't we go ahead, let's see this thing in motion and what the plaid does to your mind. All right, guys, we're inside David's Tesla Model S Plaid. Absolutely mind-blowing finally being in one of these vehicles. Remember, Tesla does not have a PR part of their business. They don't have press loan vehicles. The only way for us to get behind the wheel is because of David. And the best news is we got the yoke steering wheel rather than your traditional wheel. Now, I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I want the ultimate. I want the top level of horsepower and torque performance in a sedan. I'm digging this Model S plaid. I just went out and bought some new plaid pants and a plaid hat. How much is this? MSRP starting for a Model S plaid is right around $106,000. If you want to spec it out like David's, you're looking closer to $150,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. I like the clean style. Definitely a little something extra than your standard Model S. The carbon fiber up top, a little bit of silver trim. I think I'm gonna zonk it because I'd rather have black chrome than shiny aluminum finish. But you have nice soft material on the armrest, contrast stitching, and then you got a little bit of cloth material in the center, not my favorite, but I guess it could be worse. I would like to see more carbon fiber where that cloth is. Door pocket is a pretty good size. You could get a nice Chipotle burrito in there with extra guac. Even though guac costs extra, spend the extra money and you could get that in there plus a couple tacos. So you got plenty of room in the door pocket. Now going from the door panel to the dash, here's more of that beautiful carbon fiber, little bit of gloss black, more of the great stitch work. And then look at what we got here. Not 10 inch, not 12 inch, not even 15 inch. This is a 17 inch horizontal infotainment system. Check it out. We got, first of all, the arcade system and toy box with the full entertainment. We're gonna play a little bit of beach buggy racing here. You're actually gonna use the brake and the steering yoke on this Tesla as we chase after the competition. Come here, Doug DeMarl. I'm coming for you. But just kind of evokes the whole experience. Now to get out of the game, it's not very complicated. I like the way they kept this simple. You're just gonna pull down. There's our navigation on the whole setup. You also gonna have, of course, your other ways of getting into things like your air conditioning. We got dual climate and the way that you actually direct the air is on the screen. All of the vents are hidden. You can't see them, but you could definitely feel them. And if you're out here in the middle of nowhere, Florida with us, and you're extremely hot, you push that and it goes into full mind blowing fan speed mode to get you cooled down very quickly. And then you can shut it off and it goes right back to where we started. Now I'm gonna hit the little tiny Tesla here, hit that, that's gonna bring up our ability to get into all the different settings, check it out. We go into pedals and steering. There's all our different modes, chill, sport, and plaid. You got drag strip mode. You could adjust the steering mode. So you could be in plaid and have a nice soft comfort mode for your steering. Of course, we even have track mode, which I'll show you more of that when you come to the business side of things. If you're wondering, well, how do you put it into gear? Watch this. It's all over here on the left-hand side. So you pull back to go in reverse. There's our backup camera, super clear resolution. I could actually tell you exactly what truck that is. That's a Chevy Silverado. I'm going to put on my seatbelt. It's asking me to put on my seatbelt. Got to listen to the Tesla. We even got our little corner cameras. And then you put back in the park 
and then to go into drive, you actually swipe forward. So really cool the way everything is integrated within the screen. Let me know how you feel about that, whether you love it or not. Now coming down, we have some soft Alcantara. This is gonna be your wireless charging, two separate phones to charge. Look at how everything has the stitching, nice carbon fiber. And I hope you like storage spaces because watch this, open up door number one, gives you some very, very deep storage. I can move the cup holders out of the way. You could easily put a football signed by Elon Musk here. Say you were at the Super Bowl and you ran into good old Elon, you had him sign your football. You could put that in there with felt lining. If you want a secret compartment, that's where you could put and keep your family jewels nice and safe, hide them away. And then if you want your super slurpee, you could put your two drinks here. And the great news is you close it up like that and there you have your cups. Now, the only thing that bothers me is there's a big gap right here. So I am gonna zonk this area where there's, for some reason, a gap, I guess, to expose the um, cup holders, but you could go like that and just make everything disappear. I really like that. Soft touch on the armrest, the stitch work. Open this up. You got plenty of felt lining. You could put that bobblehead of Elon Musk in there, that one that you won, you, you, that one uh, bobblehead that you actually won in a competition at school, you could keep that Elon Musk. Maybe you could get him to sign that one day, right on his forehead or something. Close that up, seats. Love the one piece backs, look at this. Absolutely nicely done on the stitching. Full electric assist for the passenger. Full electric assist for the driver. No sunroof. What you do have is a full tinted glass roof and of course more Alcantara. But why don't you come over here I hope you like eggs because I got a yoke steering wheel over here I want to introduce you to. Come on Hi guys, over. business time behind this special yoke steering wheel. Going to the door panel, I just want to point out that if the electric door fails, because here's your button to open up the door. If this button fails, you actually have a physical lever right here to open up the door. So no worries on that. You do have a nice black aluminum sill plate with Model S. Would have been cool if it said plaid and carbon fiber or something. Pedal box, simple and to the point. Aluminum brake pedal, aluminum throttle. I wish they would have gave us aluminum dead pedal there. The carpet, as you can see, uh, it's getting a little sandy and it's probably gonna get ruined when you're bracing yourself at the crazy acceleration of this vehicle. There's your seat controls, easy to get to. Remember, I'm six feet tall. Plenty of room here. What's awesome is I barely had to move the seat from where David had it. So him and I can actually let each other borrow this and I won't even have to adjust the seat on him. Steering wheel. Just like you're flying a plane, this thing is low altitude, ground level only. It takes a little getting used to, especially when you go to full lock. But other than that, it just creates a special experience in here. You got your turn singles, easy to do. You're just gonna hit the button's right there, and then to release it, you got your horn. The only thing I don't like is I wish that this was carbon fiber. So that's gonna be a zonk, and I wish that, that it would have done something a little bit nicer to this rubber area. This is not the horn, the horn is actually right here. You do have a large, clear, digital area right there, and watch this, when I go into track mode, watch how it changes. Ba-bam, there's our battery pack there, that lithium ion liquid cool battery pack with a lap timer and then you're going to go right back to normal real easy to do now i know probably the biggest question you might have is i showed you what happens if the door doesn't open with that electric button what happens if the infotainment system goes out how do you put it into drive or reverse well it's going to be hard for you to see but on this black plastic trim right where the hazards are you'll it's hard to see but there's p there's neutral, there's R for reverse. This will turn on if this ever fails. But this will only come on only if the infotainment system fails. You can't choose which way you wanna uh, go into drive, whether it's down here or up here. This fails, then this will illuminate and work. But until that happens, you use this right up here. But why don't we get into the back seat and see how your passengers are gonna be holding on for dear life as you drop zero to 60 in two seconds in this Model S Plaid. All right, guys, back seat time. And you know what? It's interesting. There's a lot of room back here, but there's something that makes me feel a little awkward. Let me explain. First of all, you got tons of headroom, especially with the glass roof. It's got a nice curve to it. 
So it's making everything nice and open and airy. The one thing I'm not digging is how high my knees are. So the way that the seat is really low and my knees are up a little higher kind of feels a little awkward, but the seat is comfortable and I do got plenty of room. Now the backs of the seats, one piece backs have no pockets. So sticking to the space ball, space balls theme, if you remember barf, who that was in the movie, you got no room back here for the barf bags, especially when you're dropping zero to 60 in two seconds flat. Another thing is there's no pockets for a pizza from Pizza the Hut. You know what I'm talking about? You've seen the movie. If you haven't seen it, watch it. But check this out. Look what we got. You could watch Rady's Rides on the rear seat infotainment system while you're driving around or being driven around in your Model S Plaid. Love the graphics. And then if you want to get out of it, it's real simple. You're just going to hit right here. And now you could go into your Netflix, Disney Plus. You could adjust your air conditioning temperature the whole nine yards right from the screen. You got two little small USB-Cs on the bottom, which is nice because you want to keep things charged up. And then other than that, the only thing that this is really missing is an armrest. There's no center armrest. So to me, that's a big zonk, especially if you want to, you know, do the quarter mile in less than 10 seconds and kind of just sit here and scratch your chin and just say, how is this thing this fast? You can't do it because you have no armrest. One last thing I want to show you is the great leather, the stitching, and they bring some carbon fiber into the rear seat area. But while we go ahead, let's get to the cargo area because they say you could haul the mail in this Tesla Model S Plaid. Let's get back there and see if they're right. All right, guys, time to get underneath the sport back because remember, this does not have a conventional trunk. You have that sport back. I just want to show that we turned on the hazards to illuminate those LED lights so you could see what that looks like as it's flashing. To get into the back, you could either go into the infotainment system right behind the wheel of this Tesla, or you just hit the button right underneath the S. Nice electric assist. What are you greeted to? You're greeted to over 25 cubic feet of space. There are SUVs that we've have featured on the channel that don't even have as much space as this thing has. What's amazing is that David actually not only had a box of Twinkies stored back here, but he also had his bicycle with the wheels attached to the bike. It wasn't like he took the front wheel off and had to like shimmy it in here. That's how much room. He actually was saying that he was able to fit two bikes in here. And right now he's pedaling around while we're doing the review to get in a little bit of extra calorie burn. But to get the seats to go down, to get your bicycle in the back, you're just gonna hit right here on the back of the seat and then you're gonna push. Look at how nice and flat that is. Another side, it's at 60-40 split. Boom. Now you're able to slide your bike in there, just like David, and go zero to 60 in 2.1 seconds. But you know what? If you're ready, I'm ready. Everybody's been talking up this Model S Plaid. Let's go ahead and put the pedal to the metal and go on throttle in this vehicle. All right, guys, we're behind the yoke wheel of this 2022 Model S Plaid. If you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle! <laughs> oh my lord! This thing accelerates so fast and so hard. I mean, it's like vicious. But the great news is, is that the balance is there through the twisty bits. And I'm telling you, you feel like a Formula One driver behind the wheel of this thing with the yoke steering wheel. It, it's easy to get used to. I'm actually digging it because it kind of gives a little bit of extra flavor of personality to the experience. I don't know of any other vehicle that is that vicious, that's a production vehicle for the street that is that vicious off the line. I mean, it just bites and then you are off and running, not even a hint of any kind of slippage whatsoever and then having that low center of gravity i mean look at this it's like being kicked by the world's strongest horse like a clydesdale just kicking you right in the chest i gotta do it again i i just got to. that's what this thing is about everybody wants a straight line speed are you ready i'm ready they make sure everything's clear on throttle here we go <laughs> 
you just got to be extra careful with your steering inputs and I think that's where some people are getting caught out is that they're not used to going this fast and you got to remember the faster you go it magnifies each movement so please 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 if you get one of these and you have never been in a super duper fast car I highly recommend going to some type of track day event where they, there's an instructor in the car with you or even a racing school so that you can get familiarized with what it feels like accelerating so fast but then you got to be super smooth and light on the steering because like I said with every increase of speed it's gonna magnify those movements and this is where people I could see can easily lose control and problems will happen in a very short amount of time as you're accelerating or braking. So just something to kind of throw out there uh, because I know from my racing experience what it's like to be in a powerful car and have that kind of mindful thought of being light with your, with your inputs. All right, guys, I moved the camera to give you a little bit of point of view. Watch that speedometer from a dead stop. Oh, throttle, here we go. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous. Absolutely freaking ridiculous. It's melting my frontal lobe and my occipital lobe is pushing so hard against the inside of my skull. It's like there have been reports of people blacking out supposedly from the acceleration of this vehicle. Oh, throttle, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> but watch it handle through the twisty bits. Really nice, good feedback. You could hear the tires really working because obviously there's no engine note. That's the one thing that I do like about EVs and going on throttle with them, especially through the twisty bits, is you actually get better feedback and feel for what the tires are doing. I think that this could actually use a little bit more tire and a little bit more grip. I'm surprised it does not come with cup twos because this thing it, it, it just accelerates so hard that even though there's no slippage, it's just in the twisty bits, I would like a little bit more bite. But definitely out of all the different models of Teslas that there are, I am digging the interior the most in this one, just because of the digital gauge display, the yoke steering wheel. I think it's a novelty, obviously, but it really just cleans up everything that you would normally find around the wheel. I do have one pedal operation on, just so you're aware. As you can see, I have no, nothing on the brakes, no left foot or right foot, and here we are coming to a complete stop. And now we're gonna go on throttle. On throttle, God! <laughs> Look at this. Wow, unfreaking believable I'm kind of glad that the top speed is limited because I could see people doing some crazy things in this car. And this is one of those ones that you better have your get out of jail free card readily available um, because it is just such a, a it's a rocket. It's, a, it's an atomic fireball with kerosene poured all over it. All right, guys, I need to get this uh, Model S Plaid back to, to David. So we're gonna do one more on throttle. If you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. Nice, into this turn here. Jeez Louise, look at this. <laughs> oh, it is on freaking believable so i hope you've enjoyed riding along with me on this one this has definitely been one for the uh the history books we're gonna get back to where it all started and hand over the uh the key fob for this vehicle back to david so uh i'm definitely gonna see you in a split second but before i do there is the key fob taking a note from porsche same color the shape of the Model S Plaid, this is what you get when uh, when you buy your Plaid. But anyways, we're getting back to where it all started wrapping up. I'll see you in a split all second. Right, guys, it's literally been one hot 
and fast kind of day with this black on black 2022 Tesla Model S Plaid. First of all, we got to thank the man of the hour, David, for coming all the way down to sunny Florida and bringing his Model S Plaid with him. Thank you, David, for allowing us to have access to your baby. Let me know what you think. Has Tesla done enough to just shut everybody up and say that this is the king of performance sedans overall, whether it's EV or internal combustion engine, or is there something else on your list that you'd rather buy? Maybe a Porsche Taycan, Taycan Turbo S. Put that in the comment section, but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We definitely got to thank Lori for working that camera like a champ out here in over 100 degree weather with 100% humidity. She was wearing her cool suit and the cool suit failed, but she kept recording. So show her some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for being the amazing camera person that you are. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.